Let's talk these Box, uh, Roblox Studio. So let's create a script in the game that works with. Let's make the script will be create a purple part of the game. So let's create a rebel local port. You can type here anything you want, like um bingo or petto. Also I'm gonna just type here port equals inst instance that new instead new it's code that lets you to create an object in the game and let's make this it will create them port now let's make sure to recreate it in the game that workspace so we are doing this we'll type here our level here port dot parent equals game dot workspace and now let's make it Purple. So we'll type here variable again. All variable. Port dot brick color equals brick color dot new. It will set a new color to the other port. And let's set a purple color like a bush violet. Um, um, here's it, bush violet. Now let's make a quick quick test. And here's it, our purple part. Here's it. We can do anything with it. Look, it has physics because it, it it's has no intro. So it has physics we can do anything with this part. We can duplicate it multiple times. We can stack it. Look. Oh damn, so much purple parts. I'm gonna crash my Roblox studio. Look at these stacked. Oh god, they, they fall now, down like um, dom dominoes. Well, well. Alright, I'm just gonna explode them all. Boom! Alright, let's move on to the Retro Studio. So here's the Retro Studio. It's a place where I make my animations. So let's create a script in it. Let's make the same thing. It will create a purple part in the workspace too. So first of all, we adding create object plot. Yeah, it's called not instance. That name is called create object. I type here port and parent. We need to make sure it will be created in the workspace. So you can type manually game that workspace, or you can choose it in the explore section and. Here's our variable. Look, we can type here our variable name. Let's type here part two. Um, now let's make it purple. So we're doing set object property. Um, part we type here our variable. Brick color. Now in this menu, we're choosing brick color because we need to set the color to which while. And now let's run the game. Um, where is it? I, I guess it's. I guess our purple part spawned under the base plate. So let's make that it will be spawned not under the base plate. So we are duplicating the set, set object property block. Let's take here position. And we're choosing here vector tree, not the string, not the color tree, the vector tree. And let's make five stats high. 
and now everyone's a game. Who's it? I have purple block. Again, it also has no intro, so it has physics. You can drag it, you can do anything with it, you can duplicate it, stacks, you can stack them together. Look, I'm stack them. And they also fall down like dumb. Right, let's explode them all too. Um, <laughs> by the way, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.